Without privacy features built in, DeFi is gonna fail. Ideally, we want this privacy to be cheap and fast, and we probably want it to be built on Polkadot so that it will be cross-chain compatible with both Ethereum DeFi and DeFi built on parachains. We want it to be decentralized and censorship resistant so that good intentioned regulators and bad intentioned hackers still can't get past it. And all this leads me to Ray's network. Welcome to DeFi Now, where we're finally back after I've been missing in action for more than two weeks now. I'm Josh Cross, and if you don't want to miss out on all this fine content, make sure to click that subscribe button or smash it if that's your style. Now let's get into Ray's network. Ray's network is a cross-chain privacy protocol built on substrate framework for the Polkadot ecosystem. This is a privacy layer being built into the existing ecosystems that acts as a middleware between Polkadot users and DeFi. By doing this, you can have cross-chain payments and trading while preserving your privacy from bad actors and surveillance. They do this through three functions, mint, redeem, and transfer. Minting allows you to convert your token into a Raise Network anonymized version of itself, so BTC becomes RBTC. The transfer function allows you to send the anonymized token anywhere you'd like, while protecting the identities of the sender and receiver and the amount transferred. And the redeem function allows you to convert your anonymized RBTC back into BTC. What this means is that you can take your tokens that you'd like to anonymize, convert them using the Raised app, and then you can use the anonymized tokens for trading, lending, staking, providing liquidity, anything else you want to do on DeFi. And you can either leave them that way, or at some point in the future, you can exchange them back out. When you mint an anonymized token, your initial token sits in the raised smart contract waiting to be redeemed. So the smart contract acts as a pool of tokens, and this breaks the links with the previous transactions. I personally love this aspect because currently, when I want to break the traceability of my coins and tokens, I send them to a centralized exchange and then withdraw it back to a different wallet. Doing so with a smart contract would be so much better. The elegance of this is that eventually you'll be able to add an anonymous layer to pretty much any coin. In the future, they also plan to build cross-chain bridges so you can port tokens from other blockchains onto Polkadot and anonymize them in the process. So that's awesome. Ah, the team. This one's tricky because most of the core team is anonymous. In fact, only two team members are listed on their site and the rest are advisors. On the one hand, this makes sense as it's a privacy protocol, but on the other, it warrants an extra layer of scrutiny. When a project has an add-on team, the next thing I look for is open source code, and if the code is closed source, I'm not interested in it. Even though Raze is still in the early stages, they've already open sourced their code, and I've linked a Medium article in the description that will lead you to their GitHub repos. Additionally, their smart contract has been audited by Certic, which is great. Aside from that, I look at their advisors and investors, as they will often learn the real life identities of the team members, or at least hopefully they'll analyze the code before putting hundreds of thousands of dollars in. I highly recommend looking into the team members listed on the site, as well as the advisors list when you do your own due diligence. The Raise token has several different uses within the ecosystem. All transactions on the Raise chain will have fees that must be paid in Raise. Then 70% of these fees will be used to buy Raise on the open market to be burned. As the network becomes more decentralized, you'll be able to delegate your tokens to validators and earn staking rewards. Additionally, Raise will be used for governance as the protocol decentralizes, and anyone wanting to submit a proposal will also have to stake Raise, so there's a lot of use cases there. Validators running the network will have to stake Raise tokens to participate, and later on, Raise Network will launch yield farming programs, and users will receive Raise as incentives for using their products. Lastly, liquidity providers will earn Raise within the Raise Swap app where people can trade privacy token pairs. That all leads to quite a lot of demand for the token, and the buy and burn function will counterbalance the token dilution. Here's the token distribution and vesting periods. I'll quickly go through the percentages and you can pause the video to read the vesting schedules. The total supply is 120 million tokens. 6% is for the seed sale, 14% for the private sale, 4% for the public sale, 40% for liquidity rewards including initial exchange liquidity, 15% for reserves, 8% for the vault, 10% for the team, and 3% for advisors. Raise is having their IDO on Bounce Finance and Pools on the 12th, then on Duck Starter on the 13th. Also on the 13th is their public sale via Balancer's liquidity bootstrapping pool. The idea behind the bootstrapping pool is it disincentivizes bots and front running that plague Uniswap launches. The price on Balancer will start off very expensive and will decrease over time, allowing people to join in anytime they want over a 72 hour period. 
The price calculator for this can be found in the Medium article that I just mentioned. There are a couple other privacy solutions being built on Polkadot, and this is a sector that I will be watching a lot. I think most people just don't care about privacy, but I lived in China long enough to understand the importance of personal privacy. I know where complacency leads, and these projects are so needed in this space. People with a lot of money, public figures, institutions, they all deeply care about privacy, and DeFi desperately needs it in order to gain mass adoption. So I'll be watching Raze very closely. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe while you're down there. Thanks so much for watching and keep exploring.